Now let's take a look at how to read the risk heat diagram that the spreadsheet has produced. The risk heat diagram looks like this, where on the left axis we're charting the likelihood of any of those risk elements, and across the bottom the strategic risk. Let's remind ourselves of how this chart is created. In the spreadsheet, you identified each of the risk elements across the top of the spreadsheet and down the left axis the strategic objectives and their priorities for this period. The likelihood is charted up the left axis. So if we take a look at the first risk element in this chart, ERP implementation, you'll see that it has a likelihood of 5 and therefore will be charted somewhere across the top of the chart. We then rated the risk impact against each strategic objective and we can mathematically add up those scores. In this case it adds up to 232. The score is calculated by taking the risk impact and multiplying that by the weighting of each strategic objective and adding it up across all strategic objectives. So on the heat diagram we would chart ERP implementation in the top right hand corner with a likelihood of 5 and a risk strategy point of 232. Now to read this, any risk that appears in the bottom left corner where it has a lower strategic risk and lower likelihood are risks that in all cases you can probably just ignore those risks for now. In the top left corner, that's where the risks have a low impact, but a high probability. These risks are of moderate importance, but they're likely to occur. If these things happen, you can cope with them with your usual management processes. However, you should try to reduce the likelihood that they occur because dealing with them still consumes capacity. Risks in the bottom right corner, those ones which have a high impact but a low probability. Those risks are of high importance but of course unlikely to occur. For those, you can do what you can do to reduce the impact of them if they do occur, but you're best off just having contingency plans in place in case they do. Money invested here may not necessarily pay off due to the low likelihood of these risks occurring. On the other hand, the top right hand corner, high impact, and high probability. These are the risks of critical importance to leadership, the board, and your stakeholders because they're going to have a high impact and are very likely to occur. These must be your top priorities. You need to consider how to reduce their impact as well as how you might be able to reduce their likelihood.